my fight with uh, Rosimar Palhares, Toquinho, <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be in the history of ADCC uh, forever. It was a back and forth match and Tokinho has a really strong heel hook game and in that ADCC it was really scary to watch him. If you watch all his fights, he was super scared. Like he was bigger than everyone, stronger than everyone. You could tell like, he was stronger. The first fight he grabbed the guy, he lifted the guy like nothing and then put the guy down and kind of like a fly heel hook and the guy tapped right away. And then the second fight, the same thing, the guy I think grabbed a single leg on him and then he slid to a heel hook and pop, fast. And he had a fight with uh, David Avilan. like nasty knee bar you know and he submit everyone really quick and I went to the finals with him when I was there I was so happy so happy that I was in the finals so happy that uh, all the fights that I did it worked in the way that I would like I felt like my cardio my my I felt that the training was like within you know, uh, my body and I felt like really prepared. And I said, oh, this guy is not gonna, is not gonna heel hook me or do anything, you know? And I remember Jacare came to me and said, man, if you attack your foot, just start spinning like crazy, nothing's gonna happen. You, you cannot just stop and watch him doing the things. And I said, oh, yeah, okay, let's do it. And if you watch the beginning of the fight, this Toki went to straight to like an ankle lock. One ankle lock after the other, like pa 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 pa, always attack. Like I think he tried to hit like two or three ankle locks from the regular heel hook and then the 50-50 heel hook. And then I went to heel hook him. I started attacking his his uh, foot as well. Why were you attacking me? And then I think he got surprised, you know. And then we ran out of bounds, and then the battle started. And then I can be talking about this fight for half an hour for all the things that happened during the fight. <laughs> You know, and then he started slapping my face, like slapping my neck, like really hard, but I don't think it was on, on purpose. Like I think Tokino is really strong. That's the way he is. He was like doing hard clubs. I started complaining with the ref, just like to make sure that he got penalized by that, you know, kind of like trying to work on my, you know, uh, you know, experience, like fighting. I say that this guy is gonna be penalized if he keep doing that, right? They start slapping me when I was playing guard, he slapped me, like, and then the referee start calling, uh, giving warnings. I have like some knee tap, like uh, knee tap takedowns. Um, and that fight, like people saw that I had like some wrestling, you know. I duck under, went to his back and then he fell. But it was really hard to hold the on bottom. So I was sweeping him, I was doing like all the takedowns, but Tokino is like, he was like a bull without the, the horn, you know. <laughs> so it was like, like an animal. Like I, I remember like I put his back on the floor, he like, started standing up like crazy. It was really hard to hold him.
he started like uh, having cramps in the middle of the fight. I felt I saw his foot. I saw like he, he wasn't like physically prepared, you know. And also I thought like, oh, he's doing MMA. So I think like the max amount of time that he has like to compete in MMA, to fight MMA is 15 minutes. So if I fight more than that, I don't think he's gonna keep the pace. And I'm, I was ready to fight 40 minutes because during the camp I prepared myself to, for, to fight anyone 40 minutes, you know. But uh, it was a moment that I, I managed to, 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 to get his back and good seat belt. And when I got the first hook, I say, Jacker told me, hey, there's like two or two minutes for points. Like, wait right there, don't move. And I stay there, and then when they start like giving points, I start getting my hooks. And... I took his back, and I scored the points. And I tried to choke him, but he has no neck, you know? <laughs> it's like chin and chest, you know? <laughs> so he's like, bah, you know? I let him take me down a couple of times because I was winning already by 10 points, something like that. And I was just really relaxed at the end. I was like just having fun and uh, it was an amazing fight, you know. So, and you know, I have a lot of respect for Tokino and after the fight, we just like, I slap him. Like, I, I ask him, can I slap you? And I slap him because all the slaps that he gave. And in the party, like after party, there's a, a party like in the hotel between all the fighters, like everyone were there. And then I remember Jacker holds Tokino's hand and like Jacker was like grabbing Tokino and, and saying, Tokino, hug Professor Hicks on Grace. And then Tokino like, bah, you know? <laughs> and then, oh, Tokino, hu uh, hug this guy here, bro. And like, bah, and everybody started laughing. Like, it's just the way he is, you know? He's very strong. <laughs> After winning, I'm like, man, I did it. Like ADCC World Champion, that was the only title that I didn't have in my career. And then it was amazing, like a, one of the best moments in my life.